Needle exchange programs, also known as harm reduction or syringe services programs, are not fully gone in Kanawha County. Tonight, the Kanawha County Commissioners voted to keep a long-time syringe exchange program going. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas was at the public hearing. She joins us now live. Larissa. Well, because of a law change this last legislative session requiring any syringe services program to be licensed by the state, the needle exchange program at West Virginia Healthright needed a letter of support from the Kanawha County Commission. Here's how the commissioners voted. West Virginia Healthright has um, the oldest syringe exchange program in the state. It started in 2011. On Thursday, West Virginia Healthright's CEO, Dr. Angie Suttle, took the podium to ask Kanawha County Commissioners for a letter of support to keep the syringe exchange program going at Healthright. So if you don't give us the letter of support, um, we would not qualify to become certified with the state and then our program would close. Suttle says they have a 98% needle return rate and each syringe has an industrial adhesive barcode on it that helps them keep track of the patient and clinic. She said offering clean needles to an addict is a big component to getting them into the door and eventually into treatment. About 34% go on into treatment, she said. Addressing concerns of needle litter, Commissioner Wheeler commended health rights tracking methods after he says a concerned citizen told him about a needle she found on the street. I immediately contacted health right and Dr. Settle. She had her team there on the scene, uh, properly disposed of the needle and was able to identify due to the barcode there was, it was not from HealthRight. Commissioner Salengo pointed out that the lifetime cost of treating someone with HIV is upwards of $400,000. So this is a way not just to, to try to help those people get recovery, but mm -hmm. you're trying to prevent the spread of HIV. Yes, sir. And save lives and save lives. Ultimately, the commissioners voted unanimously to grant their support. Council will draft the letter. All those in favor say aye. 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 The matter carries. And there was no public comment or objection prior to the vote. Settle declined to be interviewed after the hearing. For 13 News, Larissa Casillas working for you.